Hey everybody, it's Chris Sev with Sourcecraft here. Today I'll be talking about how you can edit code in JetBrains using the edit code command from Kodi. Here I have a repo selector component. It is a React component that has some props. And we are going to use the edit command to make this a little bit better to use. So even though it's called the edit command, the first thing I want to show you is that you can actually use it to generate code from scratch. So I don't need to edit anything. I can just insert brand new code. So to get started, there's a couple different ways you can get to the edit code command. You can right click here. I'm going to go down to the Kodi and you can see edit code here. There's also document code. There's also generate unit tests, the other commands and notice the keyboard shortcut right here. And I'm on Mac. So this is control shift enter. If you're on windows or Linux, this will show differently. So I'll click edit code. And what it gives you is a little popover. And I think this is a great UI because you can get it out of the way. You can move it wherever you need. You can even expand it, get it a little bit longer if you are writing a longer prompt. And you'll also notice that you get your LLM selector, Cloth Ray Opus, GPT 4.0, all the good ones here. I'm going to stick with Opus, but you can experiment, see which LLM that you like best and does the edits best for your code base. So I'm actually going to highlight all of this right here. And for this one, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, control, control, shift, enter. And I'm going to say, add documentation to this React component. And there is a Kodi document code command. I'm just going to use the edit code feature to write, write documentation. So you could do it either way. All right, so it was able to generate a little bit of information here, a component for selecting one or more repositories, gave us all of the props, and this is great. So I'll accept here. You can also undo, edit, and retry, and here I'll accept. All right, so this is cool if you're in a JavaScript file, but we're in TypeScript, so we should be able to just use props, right? Type props. And what I'm going to do here also is, let's go highlight this whole thing right here. Actually, let's see if we can just highlight this whole thing right here and say, I'm going to add our edit command here instead of adding types to using param, add TypeScript types directly to the component. All right, let's see that. So hopefully it removes all of these params and the return and then rewrites that down there. So, okay, it did its edit. It does the return jsx.element. Uh, it removed all the params just like we expected. And down here, it gave us TypeScript types. So we have repos, set repos, is multiple, all optional strings or booleans. All right, that looks really good there. And it was able to discern what the type was from the prepared value here, the default value. Okay, but I'm seeing one other thing that we can fix. The repos is just saying, hey, it's an array of anything, right? So there's something else I want to do here. The repos is just showing an array of any, and I don't really want that to happen. I want a repos array to actually show what the object of repos is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight these two. We'll start up an edit and say the repos type is an array of objects, the object properties our ID and name. And let's make sure I wrote all that good. Looking good, let's edit code. All right, so it should generate edits here. Great, so it has the repos. And set repos here is just showing a function. So I'm gonna edit and retry. Let's get all of our code so we can see it. Our full prompt. Uh, also update set repos for this type change. All right, let's see if we can get that. All right, so it was able to edit that, and it gave us an array. This one is a repos, returns void there. Okay, so that looks great. I'll just accept that. All right, that looks really good there. Let's do one more edit just to close out this video. And you can start to see how as you work through your code, and I know these are like smaller changes, but as you start to work through your code, instead of like working through and editing it yourself. Just highlight the code, say what you want to happen, and Cody will go ahead and do those edits for you. So one thing I want here is 
I'm defining array right here and then array right here. That's a little bit repeated code. Let's highlight up here and say, create a new repo type and apply it to repos and set repos. All right, so that should create a brand new type above all of this, just like it did, nice. So we have a repo is an object of ID string, name string, down here, repo, an array of repos, and then the function is updated as well. Fantastic. And actually, I'll probably move this, I'll accept, and I'll move this above the doc block there. Perfect. All right, so just like that, we're starting to use the edit command to make our code a little bit cleaner, a little bit better, and you can start to use this in larger scenarios. Let's say you wanted to highlight this repos.map and say, oh, change out a property or change out a button for a div. I don't know why you do that, but the edit command lets you do any of those things all by writing a prompt to Cody. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the edit command in JetBrains.